Tokyo, a city alive with energy, innovation and relentless growth. But what if its ambition was destined to rise far beyond the skyline? A vision so bold it would pierce the heavens. A vertical metropolis for a million souls. This is the story of the Xseed 4000, the city in the sky. In the 1990s, Japan stood at the forefront of architectural ambition. The nation had proven to the world that it could dream bigger, build faster, and redefine what was possible in engineering. Out of this spirit of limitless innovation came a proposal unlike anything seen before. The Taisei Corporation, one of Japan's largest construction companies, unveiled a concept so staggering in scale that even today, it feels more like science fiction than reality. They called it the Xseed 4000. Standing 4,000 metres tall, over 13,000 feet, it would have been the tallest structure ever conceived by humanity. Not just a building, but an artificial mountain, a city within a city, designed to house more than one million people. But what exactly was this vision? How could a structure so vast, so impossible in scale, be imagined as more than just lines on a blueprint? To understand the Xseed 4000, we must look inside, at the world it was meant to contain. The Xseed 4000 was not simply a tower, it was a living ecosystem. A layered megastructure shaped like a mountain, with a vast steel and glass frame stretching high into the sky. Inside, entire neighbourhoods would exist. Residential districts, offices, shopping centres, schools and green spaces. Its terraced layers were designed to maximise natural light, while integrated environmental controls would regulate temperature and weather conditions within. Imagine walking through parks hundreds of storeys above the ground, or gazing out from your apartment balcony with clouds drifting beneath your feet. Transportation inside the Xseed would rely on ultra-fast maglev trains and elevators, carrying people vertically and horizontally across the massive city. From the very base to the highest level, every inch of the structure was envisioned as self-contained, sustainable and futuristic. But to grasp the brilliance of the design is one thing, to understand its true scale is another. The Xseed 4000 was not just a vision of life within, it was a redefinition of size itself. A structure so vast that even the tallest landmarks on Earth would pale in comparison. To grasp the magnitude of this design, consider this. The Xseed 4000 would have been three times taller than Mount Fuji. Its steel frame would rise higher than the cruising altitude of most passenger jets. And at its base, the footprint alone would stretch across Tokyo Bay, covering an area larger than many small cities. The structure's sheer size meant it could never be built with conventional materials. It would require millions of tons of steel, advanced composites, and futuristic technologies that even today remain experimental. In terms of cost, early estimates suggested up to one trillion US dollars a price tag that made it the most expensive single construction project in human history. But while the numbers inspire wonder, they also raise questions. How could such a colossal vision ever be made real? The very factors that made the Xseed 4000 so extraordinary, the height, the weight, the scale, also revealed the nearly insurmountable obstacles standing in its way. But with ambition comes impossibility. The Xseed 4000 faced countless challenges. First, the forces of nature. Tokyo is one of the most seismically active regions on Earth. Could a structure four kilometers tall withstand the relentless threat of earthquakes? Then, the winds. At such altitudes, jet streams would constantly batter the structure with hurricane force gusts. And of course, the logistics. How could such a project even begin? Where would the materials come from? How would they be transported? Who would build it and at what cost? The truth was clear. In the 1990s, humanity simply did not have the materials, the technology, or the economy to make the Xseed a reality. And yet, despite every obstacle, the Xseed 4000 refused to fade quietly into impossibility. Because at its core, it was never just about solving engineering problems or defying nature's limits. It was about something far greater, 
an idea that stood taller than the structure itself. The X-Seed 4000 was never just about steel and concrete. It was a symbol, a vision of what humanity might one day achieve. Its boldness inspired architects, dreamers and engineers across the world to rethink the limits of design. It forced people to imagine a future where cities are not limited by land, but instead rise toward the sky. In many ways, the X-Seed was less of a construction plan and more of a challenge to humanity. To dream bigger, to push further, to expand our horizons. Though the X-Seed 4000 was never built, its legacy remains. It stands as one of the most astonishing architectural visions ever conceived. A reminder that the human imagination knows no bounds. What the Taisei Corporation proposed in the 1990s was not merely a structure, it was a statement. A declaration that humanity could, and perhaps should, think beyond the limitations of land, cost, or even gravity itself. In its unbuilt form, the X-Seed became something paradoxically more powerful than concrete and steel. It became a myth of modern architecture. Students still study it. Architects still reference it. Writers, artists, and futurists still draw inspiration from its impossible silhouette. Its very scale forced people to ask questions that still matter today. How large should a city be? Can vertical living become sustainable? What happens when humanity outgrows the ground beneath its feet? The X-Seed did not provide the answers, but it demanded that we ask the questions. Even now, as engineers pursue arcologies, floating cities, and orbital habitats, the ghost of the XSEED 4000 lingers in the background. It reminds us that the boundary between reality and science fiction is thinner than we imagine. And perhaps one day, advances in materials, energy, and construction will make a megastructure of this kind more than a dream. Perhaps cities will rise like mountains, not carved by nature, but shaped by human ambition. Perhaps people will one day look up at a horizon dominated not by skyscrapers, but by vertical worlds. Until then, the XSEED 4000 exists not in steel, but in story. Not in Tokyo Bay, but in the shared imagination of humanity. It is a monument to vision itself, proof that the most valuable architecture is not always what we build but what we dare to dream. The X-Seed 4000, the city in the sky. Want more impossible visions? Hit like and subscribe.